my dear class 5 welcome back to our english class which lesson we were studying in our last class yes we started a very interesting story i must feed my mother do you remember about our white elephant where did we stop our story yes we saw about the white elephant how white elephant looked after his mother and finally we saw about a man who came from banaras what happened to that man yes he lost his way in the forest our good white elephant showed him way back to his house but what did that man do yes out of his greediness he heard about the king's need for a royal elephant so all with the soldiers and the trainers they set out for catching the white elephant let us see what happened after that all of you please take your textbook please take page number 32 page number 32 let us start reading in the forest the great white elephant was standing in front of his cave in the cool water of the lake amidst many lotuses the tips of his tusk shone in the sun what was happening when the men reached the forest yes our white elephant was standing in front of his cave that is we know that in front of the cave they had a very beautiful lake with cool water in it amidst that is a new word for you isn't it a m e a m i d s t m x in the middle of in the middle of many lotuses see the tips of his tusk we you know the tusk of the elephant isn't it that big teeth tusk of the elephant it was shining in the sunlight the man went up to the elephant caught him by the trunk and said you must come with me if you do not these elephant trainers and soldiers will drag you to banaras see that man what did he say he said he just caught hold of his trunk Do you know what's the trunk of an elephant? Yes, the big nose. Yes, he caught in the trunk and said to our white elephant, "You just have to come with us to Banaras. If you are not coming with me, what the strangers will do? They will just drag you to the city of Banaras." The elephant stood quietly. He knew he was stronger than the man, stronger than all the king's elephant trainers. stronger than all the king's soldiers he knew that if he wanted to he could kill anyone who come to catch him yes we know that the elephant is very strong isn't it so the elephant just stood silently he know that he is very strong enough he can just beat with all these men but our good elephant he didn't do that he stood silently what happened next I do not wish to harm anyone said the elephant to himself and stood with his head low such a good thought he had he thought that no i should not be cruel with anyone i don't want to harm anybody so the man to whom he had done a good turn caught him and along with the elephant trainers and soldiers took him to the city of banaras so he was very good to that man isn't it good turn who did a very good action he helped that man when he was in trouble but what did he give in return yes with it that is good do you feel children no isn't it that was very bad but he didn't do any harm to that man he just went along with them and they took the white elephant to the city of banaras oh see what is going to happen alone and sad in her cave the blind mother elephant tossed her head unhappily tossed that is a new word what do you mean by tossed moved one's head suddenly that is called as tossed see the mother is so sad why because the sun is not with her the sun was her everything the sun was her eyes she was blind she cannot see 
Poor mother, isn't it? Many days have passed. Where is my son? What could have happened to him? We can understand the feeling of a mother. He is so big and handsome. Yes, the mother knows that he is so big and handsome. I hope he has not been caught by hunters. So the mother is thinking to herself, My son is so big, so strong. Were there any hunters? Who are hunters? Yes, the people who used to catch animals. Were there any hunters caught my son? No, it cannot happen. He is very strong enough. Oh, my son is not by my side to tell me about the trees, plants, grass and the coming rain. So the mother is having such a sad feeling in her mind. Who will tell me about all the things that is happening in the forest? Now, indeed, I am blind for my son was my pair of eyes. Actually, now she is blind, isn't it? Why? Her son is not there with her. The son, that white elephant, actually the white elephant was her eyes. He used to see everything. Now see what happened? An elephant trainer had run ahead and on reaching the king's palace, he said, he said excitedly to the king, A beautiful white elephant is coming. The most beautiful elephant in the world is coming. So one of the elephant trainer, he just ran ahead and he just reached king's palace and said, A beautiful elephant, the most beautiful elephant ever I have seen is coming to our palace. The king got up from his throne and called out to his servant. The king was so excited to hear that news. Decorate the city, call the musicians, the couch blowers and the dancers, the people of the city and the little children make a big white stall for the elephant near the palace. Make it of multicolored cloth, decorate the bamboo poles with silk flags and garlands of flowers. For my new royal elephant, get the best rice in the city. The king was so excited. He wanted to get the best for that white elephant. What did he say? He said, he called out the servants. We have to decorate the city like anything. Call all the musicians. Call the couch blowers. That is a new word for you, couch blowers. What do you mean by couch blowers? You have seen? That is the shell of the sea creatures. We can blow that the sound will be coming out of that. Yes, that is couch blowers. Call all the couch blowers. Call all the dancers. We have to have a blast today. We have to welcome our royal elephant. Then the king said, Yes, call all the people, all the children. We have to make a big shelter for the royal elephant. And it should be decorated with multicolored cloth, different colored cloth. And there should be bamboo poles with silk flags. The garlands of flowers, beautiful flowers should be there to decorate that stall. For my new royal elephant, the king ordered to get the best rice which is available in the city. So the king was ready to welcome the royal elephant. Now what happened? Just see, after seven days, the great white elephant arrived in Banaras. So it has to travel from the forest to Banaras, isn't it? So after seven days, the elephant reached Banaras. The people of the city remarked. So everyone said, how splendid. See how grandly he walks, how grandly he waves his ears, how his body shines, how noble he looks. See what are the comments made by the people. See how splendid it is, how beautiful it is, how elegant it is, how grandly, in a grand way, how grandly it is walking, how he is waving his ears. See, his body is shining like anything. How noble he looks, noble. What do you mean by noble? So good looking it is. Noble personality, we will say, isn't it? Now, what happened? The elephant was taken to his special stall. While music played, laughter and happy voices filled the air. So everywhere it was happiness. The king greeted him. The king wished the elephant. Welcome white elephant of the forest. Welcome. So the king welcomed the elephant to the 
palace. The king then offered him a golden bowl filled with cooked rice. Eat, he said. Eat, please. So the king bought a golden bowl. In that golden bowl, there was rice for the elephant. And he pleaded. He said to the elephant, please have the food. Do you think the elephant will eat? Yes. We will see. The elephant did not move. He stood straight and still. Without feeding my mother, I do not eat, he said. See, that is the love of that elephant. Without my mother eating anything, I will not eat. At least one morsel for my sake, great elephant, said the king. Morsel, that is a new word, isn't it? A small amount. So the king said, at least have some food. What did the elephant say? No, said the elephant. Without my mother, I eat nothing. Without my mother, I will not eat anything. My mother is blind. She must be pinning for me, lying at the mouth of the cave. I can see her sad and forlorn, beating her foot against the roots of a tree. See, that son, that son can understand the feeling of the mother. Isn't it? So he is telling, I will not eat anything. You know, my mother is very blind. My mother is blind. She can't see anything. She will be pinning. Pinning means become sad. She will be very sad. She will be lying in the mouth of the cave. I can see from here. I can see my mother. She is sad and forlorn. See the word forlorn? Lonely and sad. She is all alone there. She will be beating her legs. Because she can't see her son. Because her son is not near to her. So my mother will be starving. My mother will not have taken her food. So I have to be with my mother. So without my mother eating anything, I will not eat. The king stood silent for a moment. Then turning to his elephant trainers and soldiers, he said, Take the elephant back to the forest. Take him to his mother. Just see, that king, he could understand the feeling or the love or the concern of that white elephant for his mother. So what did he say? Please take this elephant back to his mother. Take him back to the forest. The nobles and the people gathered there, clapped and shouted with joy. Everyone was so happy hearing the king's decision because he took a very wise decision, isn't it? So the white elephant returned to the forest. Yes, the white elephant now returned to the forest. You are also feeling happy hearing this, isn't it? As he came to the lotus lake near their cave, he drew some cool water in his silvery trunk. And when he saw his blind mother lying down on the floor of the cave, he sprayed the water on her body. She immediately stood up. So when she the white elephant reached the forest. He took some cool water in his trunk and just sprayed that water on top of the mother. Suddenly when the water fell on her body, she just stood up. What gentle rain blows into this cave? She said, has my son come back? The mother can understand the feeling or the, the a mother can understand about the feeling of his son, the presence of his son, isn't it? I am back, answered the white elephant. The king has set me free. In a very happy voice, the white elephant said, Yes, mama, I am back. The blind mother was overjoyed to hear her son's voice. Overjoyed, extremely happy. May the king live long. Why did she say so? Because she was so happy that the king let the elephant go back, isn't it? She said, The white elephant fed his mother with the wild fruits and berries. Only then did he eat. See, he didn't have anything till that time. So first he fed his mother. The days passed in peace and happiness. In Banaras, the king often thought of the great white elephant and his blind mother in the forest. So the king was always thinking about this white elephant and his mother. I wish I could stay near that wonderful white elephant and his mother, he said. So the king was having a feeling, 
I also want to be near that white elephant. Do you know what did he do? One day, the king built a city for himself near the lake of lotuses in the forest. So he built a beautiful palace near that lake. Then every day, he would spend some time with the white elephant and his blind mother, bringing them fruits, roots and flowers. Do you understand? Yes, he used to every, spend every day few minutes, few hours with that white elephant and his mother because the king, that white elephant's love for his mother have touched the king's heart. Did you understand the story? It was a very nice one, isn't it? What's the moral of the story? Yes, as children, it's our duty to take care of our parents, isn't it? I know that everyone will be doing that. We have to always obey our parents. We have to always take care of our parents because they love us a lot. They are doing such a hard work for we people. So always keep that thing in your mind. So by that, we completed the lesson, I must feed my mother. Please ensure to read the textbook three times and get signed from your parents. We will meet in the next class with the textual exercises. Thank you.